Preserving small town America has been the mission of people in bright Indiana for the past several months. There's a proposal that would put a new road right through town, connecting it to I-74. They don't want it. And as Local 12's Brad Underwood reports, the calls to nix the plan altogether are getting louder. If you live in bright Indiana, you probably see this sign a dozen times a day. No bright 74. The small community, of roughly 5,500, likes their home just the way it is. But about a year ago, the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana Regional Council, or OKI, came into Bright and started assessing travel patterns and interstate access. We realized we can't stop progress and growth in an area, but we just felt like um, some of the proposed ideas were just a little bit out of touch. A series of open houses have been held and residents filled out surveys on what they want to see done. A lot of the residents felt like the questions were slanted. There was no option to say, I oppose this project directly. Everything was angled towards we're going forward this. How would you like us to proceed? There were four options, one of which included a new road being built to get to 74 faster. It became very clear that the new roads were not favored uh, whatsoever. Other plans include widening North Dearborn and Whites Hill roads and the shoulders. But a petition was created to fortify the opposition. It now has more than a thousand signatures. Bright resident Brian DeBruler says the council isn't listening to taxpayers. We're speaking and we feel like uh, our feelings about the project seem to be falling on deaf ears because everything just keeps moving forward um, regardless of what anybody really has to say about it. Any recommendation that comes out of this study, it's probably going to be a while because no funding's in place, so a lot of steps yet to take. This is just the first step in the process. A process that no matter what the county decides to do, it won't happen anytime soon. Current work on State Line Road was planned 17 years ago. In Bright, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. The final open house is September 14th at East Central High School.